All right, folks. Good morning. The Brighton Hot Dog Shop. Always a good morning. The collectible Christmas cup. I know. I can't get enough of it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, today, lots to get to. Uh, let me begin by saying, with the cold weather and the freezing rain out there, wouldn't it be a perfect lunch at the Brighton Hot Dog Shop? hot bowl of chili to warm up your insides, or a bowl of wedding soup. Mm-mm. Love it. Speaking of the weather, I want to salute my United States postal workers out there. My amazing postal worker just left the front porch after delivering my mail. It is a very cold and rainy day out there, and you know, they just never stop. They go through rain, sleet, and snow. Even in the searing heat of the summer, you can always count on United States postal workers to deliver the mail. I have such respect for what they do, so I just wanted to take a moment on this Tuesday morning to salute you. Now, coming up later on Rob Pratt, Tuesday night at 7, Zachariah Brown, Carl Zachariah, Christine Brown, Murphy, calling Brakovich, Ben Urso, Law for the Elderly, Love What They Do. Throughout the night, great guest on the Disc Institute of Pittsburgh Newsline, along with CBS Radio News and Joe DeStio and company with your local news, Rose Ryan Douglas, that too. But the guest list will include acting police chief of Pittsburgh, my friend Scott Schubert, getting ready to take that leap of faith for the incredible polar plunge for Special Olympics. I love that charity, and I love what he does, and we'll talk about it tonight. And Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and the holidays in the Strip, Jimmy Senseri, Jimmy and Nito's, bum, 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 bum. He will be here talking about everything from his amazing pepperoni rolls and everything else that is holiday in the Strip. Wonderful places to go up and down that historic Strip in the great city of Pittsburgh. So Jimmy Sinceri tonight, right after CBS Radio News at 10. We'll be talking about things trending, Post-Gazette and Trib, headlines, of course, and things that are making news on Twitter. And by the way, in just a moment, I'll give you the top 10 things from 2016 according to Twitter, that people were tweeting about, and also Facebook. And one of the things today on Facebook, and I don't know if you've gone to this site, and I'm just learning about them, but it's called Rabble Vid, as in video. You can find out more at rabblevid.com. But I really like it, and again, I'm just kind of learning to navigate it. But I saw moments ago a defense attorney, happens to be a friend of mine. He is Phil DeLacente, and he is representing Woodland Hills Principal Kevin Murray, of course, last night at a school board meeting, critics and defenders coming out, talking about him and, of course, the recent allegations uh, concerning a student. Interesting thing said by the defense attorney today. We're going to discuss that because that is going to continue to trend throughout the day, and I hope you'll tune in to your award-winning KDKA Radio Newsroom to keep you updated on that and everything else making news in your world. Before we uh, get to sports, and there's a lot of sports to get to, I do want to take some time and talk about some of the things we are going to be talking about. And I talked about the top 10 things according to Twitter that we're going to discuss. Number 10 is Game of Thrones. Uh, number 9, rest in peace to such uh, amazing people as David Bowie, Prince, and Muhammad Ali, and Leonard Cohen, all passing away in 2016. Number 8, of course, the Donald, President-elect Donald Trump. Number 7, Black Lives Matter. Number 6, Brexit. Uh, number five, Oscars. Number four, soccer action, Euro 2016. Number three, I mean, everybody knows, no matter how old you are, Pokemon Go, right? And also, number two, the elections, while number one was the Olympics in Rio. So those were the top ten things, according to Twitter. Now, also on the program tonight, we're going to talk about the Grammys, because today Megan Trainer came out and announced all the nominees, and just to kind of give you an idea as far as the top one, which I believe is the biggest and best record of the year, Hello by Adele, nominated formation by the great Beyonce, Seven Years, Lucas Graham, Work, Rihanna, featuring Drake, stressed out by a wonderful new group called 21 Pilots, and you'll get that along with the album of the year, Best New Artist, and it's going to be hosted by the late, late show host, James Gordon, Great talent out of Britain who has really found a home here in the United States and is doing great work with that program after Stephen Colbert every single night on CBS. You can see it on KDK TV 2, and you can also see the Grammys on KDK TV 2 and CBS on February the 12th. Now, 
to sports. Brian Rush, first ever hat trick. Man, the pens were firing on all cylinders last night. Sidney Crosby got his 17th goal of the year. Tops in the NHL. They beat Ottawa 8-5. They got six goals in the final 32 minutes. Malcolm and Kessel each had a goal and two assists. Matt Cullen, Jason Schultz, and those guys got some goals. Now, Marc-Andre Fleury, who had two really good games back-to-back, kind of struggled a little bit, so he was taken out, and Matt Murray came in, and Matt went on to have 17 saves on the night. Penn's back in action Thursday. They will be in the Sunshine State at Florida. Monday night football. What a difference Andrew Luck makes. Of course, he was out of that game against the Steelers, but he was back last night. Four touchdown passes. AFC South, they are tied with Houston. They have a record of 6-6. Six and six. They beat the Jets 41-10. to Three touchdowns went to Dwayne Allen and another big night for T.Y. Hilton as well. And on the night, 22 of 28 for 278 yards for Andrew Luck. Pitt basketball, 93-7, the fan from the beautiful Peterson Event Center. It will be Bill Hillgrove with the action, Dick Grote, as they are taking on Buffalo tonight at 7. Again, you can hear it on 93.7 The Fan. Ladies and gentlemen, I will talk to you later from CBS Radio World Headquarters in Green Tree. In the meantime, have a wonderful Tuesday.